Alrighty, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, now that we have everything set up, I wanna go ahead and show you guys a really basic example. And the most basic example I can think of is just displaying some text on the screen. So this is gonna be the dumbest React <laughs> project ever, but we'll get the basics out of the way taken care of. So the way that this is gonna work is whenever you make something in React, whenever you make a website or an application, you're gonna use React to essentially generate some HTML. Now, usually this is gonna be generated by, you know, doing something fancy like connecting to a database or some API, um, like getting a list of users and then generating everyone's profile picture or username or something. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw some, you know, like a heading one or heading two in there. And essentially, whenever it generates this HTML, we need somewhere to stick it. So we're gonna say, all right, this is the code we're generating with React. Where are we going to put it on our website? So I'm gonna go ahead and make a div. And by the way, if you're using a JetBrains IDE, if you just write div or any tag name and hit tab, then it's kind of a shortcut, fills the rest out for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this an ID of example. And all this is, is it's basically a target for later on, whenever we write our React down here, it's gonna generate a bunch of HTML and we're gonna say, just stick it inside example. So it's pretty much a container, um, you know, just normal HTML. So now we can actually start writing our React code. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a script tag. Now by default, this is just normal JavaScript. That's what the browser is gonna see. But remember, I said that we aren't going to write plain old vanilla JavaScript. What we are going to do is we're actually gonna be writing something called JSX. It's a special type of JavaScript that allows us to use HTML syntax in it and it makes it really easy to program. So what we actually need to do is we need to add an attribute right here and say text babble. And if I say Babel sometimes, that's actually because there's a kid in my class named Andy Babel. And before I learned Babel, um, I don't know, that's kind of what I see in here. So again, if I say Babel, it's actually Babel. But anyways, inside here, what's gonna happen is we're gonna type JSX. And since we have this script, this is actually the um, Babel transpiler. It's basically a translator that's gonna take anything in between here and translate it to normal JavaScript so our browser doesn't freak out. All right guys, so for this example, I'm gonna be showing you guys one line of code and we'll just go ahead and run this and make sure that everything is working properly. So from React DOM, call one method called render. Now, eventually whenever I talk to you guys about components, which are essentially just part of your website, then this is really how you use the render method. But for right now, I'll explain it like this. Basically what render does is it takes a bit of HTML and it throws it into a target. In other words, wherever you wanna display it. Now, since we really only have one place where we can target, we'll just go ahead and use this as a target so the first parameter again like i said is just some html so this can be whatever you know single tag that you want i'm just going to go ahead and make a heading one and i'm going to go ahead and close it and in between here i'll just write uh hi my name is bucky just like that actually let me just write bucky make sure i'm not running out of room so this is our HTML, and right now, this is basically our React component. If you don't know what a component is, don't worry about it yet. So the next parameter, and the only other one it takes, is where are we going to display this? Well, we need to say um, this div right up here. So how do we do that? Well, if you just write document dot get elements by ID, it allows us to throw in the ID of an element, which is example, and it's gonna go ahead and return a reference to this element right here. So all we're doing is we're saying, all right, take this code, which is a simple heading, and throw it into this div right there. So now if I refresh this page, check it out. Now if I look at my source code, I don't know if you guys can see this, it might be a little bit small, but we basically have our heading one throwing right up into here. And of course we can change this to a heading two and we can write like bacon or whatever we want. And it's gonna take whatever this code is and it's gonna stick it right in between our target. 
as we can see right there. So that's the very basics of React. Now again, if we didn't include this line of code right here, then watch what happens whenever we try to run this. Actually, let me print out my console. It's gonna say, whoa, 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 what the heck is this? You see, it's freaking out because this isn't actually JavaScript, this is JSX. And again, it's just a lot easier whenever we can write HTML in our JavaScript. So that's why we need to include this to translate it to regular JavaScript. So yeah, there you go. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.